as part of my tour through Kentucky and Tennessee, the folks over at Renew Biomedical reached out and asked if I'd want to stop by. I said, heck yeah. So let's go ahead and take a tour. Renew Biomedical and their beautiful facility. Hey everybody, we'd like to welcome the Better Biomed uh, here to Jackson, Tennessee, the home of Master Medical Equipment and Renew Biomedical. Very sunny day here in Jackson, uh, so we're glad y'all could make it. We're going to give you a little tour of our facility and tell you what we do here at Master Medical and Renew Biomedical. Starting in the entrance here, this is our uh, customer service area, Master Medical Equipment. This is where we field all calls. We uh, sell nationwide to all 50 states as well as international. We have a customer service team here that is uh, second to none. Uh, we take care of all our customers, enter the orders, and make sure they get out expeditiously. The rest of our offices are for our admin staff and management staff, as well as executive offices. We also keep plenty of uh, cold beverages and coffee available for any of our visitors. We have our own in-house marketing department headed by Josh Casper and Jake Beals. This way is our warehouse. Over here we also have what we call the uh, sales pit. So a lot of our inside sales folks and some of our outside sales folks have offices here that they can come when they're in town and visit. And then we've also got other sales support staff. So this is the MME warehouse. Inside our MME warehouse, about 30,000 square foot. It's heated and cooled space. Beautiful days like today, we're able to open the door up and let some of the air in. You can see in the very background over here, we'll walk over here and see the acquisition inspection area. And outside, we got a little, little surprise for you. Here's some of our uh, talented staff at Renew and MME. We have at MME, we have a receiving department where we do acquisition inspection of all the incoming equipment. Uh, we sell new as well as certified pre-owned uh, used medical equipment here. Uh, we are ISO 9001-2015 at MME. We're ISO 1345-2016 at Renew. So part of our quality control is the acquisition inspection process of all the equipment that comes into Master Medical Equipment. You're doing good, Mindy. I've tried to hide Heather. On beautiful days like today, we're able to have some cookouts like uh, the Better Bomb Ed was able to enjoy. Uh, <laughs> one of the neat things we also did for, for MME and for Renew, we have an ambulance out here where uh, our specialty and our biggest market is EMS. Um, we have an ambulance that's been not only wrapped and painted uh, with MME colors, we also use it for trade shows and demonstrations of medical equipment such as ventilators, stretchers, defibrillators, IV pumps, and so on. That's uh, so cool. Back in the back is also one of our delivery vans um, that we use for uh, local local delivery or far range delivery or pickup. Wow, that's awesome. One of the things that we don't have here today because they're all on the road is the Re Renew uh, Biomedical Field Service Vans. We have a full uh, quality controlled environment inside our service vans that have a, a bench just like Renew Biomedical. They're all out in the field today. I think we have a total of uh, six vehicles at the, at the moment. One of the things that makes us different here at Master Medical, um, we are sister companies, two separate companies. Master Medical Equipment is only sales. Renew Biomedical is only service. Master Medical Equipment is a master distributor for a lot of large name brands like Zoll Medical, Philips Medical, uh, GE Healthcare, um, and we distribute products all over the country. Um, not only distribute products, we also support them. We keep accessories, parts, and supplies for those products in stock in our warehouse. Part of what makes us different is being able to have these, these accessories, cables, batteries, pads, um, ECG cables, SPO2 sensors, all kinds of equipment that you're needed at a moment's notice. Unfortunately, in these times of uncertain supply chain, it makes it harder for you to depend on manufacturers and other supply chains. We keep stuff in stock so that we make sure our customers in EMS, critical care, 
emergency rooms and hospitals are up and running at any time. Wow, there's a lot of stuff. If you guys could only appreciate the amount of assets that are on the shelf. Another exciting thing that we'll go ahead and mention to the Better Biomed uh, viewers, uh, we're actually in the process of expanding our warehouse. Uh, we're adding another 30,000 square feet um, as soon as we get in the dry here, and we'll be able to keep more products and uh, be able to stage more. One of the additions when we get over to Renew is going to be for a, a lot larger Renew Training Academy as well as a lot larger Renew work area. You're fine. So as you see in all this stuff, better biomed viewers, uh, master medical equipment we have we have this is our shipping area two full docks we have uh, FedEx UPS daily service uh, as well as LTL and freight with our full docks uh, we can ship anywhere in, in the US and, and international the neat thing about where we're located here in Jackson Tennessee is we're only 40 miles away from FedEx international headquarters and we're a little over three to four hours away from Fe, uh, UPS's headquarters in Louisville Kentucky so FedEx is based out of Memphis Louisville's based out of Kentucky and we're right in between So that's the tour of the MME side of the warehouse. So again, two separate companies, we call ourselves sister companies, we do work together. Renew does all the service work and repairs for MME and MME customers, but Renew also does a whole litany of other repairs and service work that MME doesn't even sell the equipment for. That's what we're going to get into next. So here's the entrance to Renew Biomedical. This is inside our own facility. However, uh, a, few, a few years back, my wife, who's uh, part owner, Jill Taylor, and our other co-owner of Renew Bio, uh, Biomedical, Justin Smith, um, decided we needed a wall to kind of separate the two entities. We were separate on paper, but not in physical. So now we have separated each, each other on the, with this nice wall, nice facade. We added about four offices, and now you're going to see Renew Biomedical Services. As I said earlier, Renew Biomedical is 13485 ISO uh, rated uh, company. So we hold the highest quality standards for medical device servicers in the industry. Um, we also started two years ago, something we're very proud of, is the Renew Biomedical Training Academy. The Renew Biomedical Training Academy is the first biomed apprentice program in the United States that is uh, certified by a Amy as well as the U.S. Department of Labor. Uh, what our applicants do is once they get accepted to the program as for this apprenticeship a uh, little 20,000 foot view um, they come in it's on the job training they have a six-month course we do two days a week with uh, in-class training once we finish the training they take a test they get the CABT which uh, we'll talk more about on Better Biomed a little bit later uh, but the Renew Biomedical Training Academy currently ha we have uh, availability for five techs and we're training five every six months so we're welcoming in these folks into the industry and we're also doing it at, at the curriculum that is proposed by Amy and accredited by the US Department of Labor this part of our, our, our shop is all ESUs and ventilators so we separate out our workspace by modality um, this has our ESU analyzers and all the stuff we need to use to fix uh, Valley Labs, uh, Bovi, ConMed, ESUs, and the other side is ventilators, which has become uh, one of our biggest modalities that we repair, fix, uh, and we can, a lot of the uh, PMs that we can do, we can only do in-house. We do have medical grade air gas coming in from a compressor that we bought, and, and then we have the full analyzers for any type of ventilator that we're already manufacturing trained to uh, work on.
Over here on the right are all the management offices uh, for New Biomedical. Featuring Richard. Richard, you got a second to come out and wave at the camera? This is, this is Richard Woods. He's our, he's our director of Renew Biomedical Training Academy. Richard has been over 20 years in the biomedical industry, has worked for a lot of the big companies, now here, here uh, with us, helping to train the next generation of HTM professionals. And it's an honor and a pleasure. Thank you, Richard. So not only do electronic medical devices, we also do um, EMS and transport cots, stretchers as they're called, some people call them beds. Um, these are all brought in house. We are professionally trained to work on them, repair them, uh, bring them back up to OEM specs. The other bench over there is our pump bench. Uh, we have several different brands of pumps that we work on in house. This is cosmetics over here. So we not only make sure the, the, the devices are working up to manufacturer specs, we also make sure they return back to the customers better than they come to us. Over here is the main part of Renew Biomedical, our workbenches. Uh, these are all of our techs who are uh, hard at work at the moment. Uh, we, ha we have a, uh, uh, quite a few number of uh, medical devices in getting repaired. One of the things that we're known for in the industry is, is defibrillator repairs and PMs. Uh, we're manufacturer trained by all the major manufacturers of defibrillators. Not only are we trained in all of them, everybody here in the shop is trained on this modality. And we keep a lot of extra parts, supplies, and uh, service parts uh, for making sure that we're fully equipped to uh, service both in-house or in-field service uh, defibrillator monitors. Along with the defibrillator monitors, we also do EKGs, uh, vital signs monitors, pulse oximeters, uh, pretty much all small electronic movable medical equipment that you can imagine um, in this area. And then also some that we are specifically trained on by manufacturers. So there's certain pieces of equipment that manufacturers come to us and they say, hey, can you help us with this? And we're glad to help them. From this point in our work order system, we bring in uh, quotes. We have a, our own software that we use that's called Renew Bio Portal. Once the equipment is received in and we are, you get an email, we get a picture made of it as it comes in. Uh, the customer gets an email that the equipment was received and is appending uh, a quote. Once we get a, a, some kind of estimate or quote together, they get an email back out and it shows them the quote, the estimated price of, of repair, and then it has an automated approval button. So 24-7, you can accept or deny an approval of a repair. Once a, a repair is approved, then it goes into a waiting repair. Our normal ship time, our repair time is three to five business days as long as we have parts in stock, which can be tricky right now. Um, but that being said, it, from that point, it goes to the tech. And once it hits the tech bench, uh, you get another email letting you know that it's being worked on. And then once the device is repaired and cleaned and sent for final testing, you get another email when it goes out to UPS for shipping. We've got a lot, Josh Weatherford here was one of our very first CABT. Josh, will you wave to the camera here? Better about med folks. He's one of our first CABT uh, graduates. Uh, so he's literally, I'll let him and our other uh, tech who's not here to defend himself, the fight over who was the first accredited uh, biomed apprentice in the country. So uh, I'll go ahead and since he's here, say it's Josh Weatherford. I got the test date. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, what I'm but, talking about. But Josh passed, and it was the very first uh, in the books. It's amazing. I want everybody to take note about the organization. Dustin Dinkins, who's over here in the corner, I give him a lot of the credit for the organization. Me and Neil, uh, our, our biomed director right here, Neil. Neil Davidson along. has been following along with us. Um, <laughs> Me and Neil uh, uh, are not the best at organization, but as we've grown, Neil was our first uh, employee here at Renew, and now we've got over 20. 
Um, uh, we've brought folks on like Dustin and Josh and all the folks here that have really come in and helped put their own fingerprint in our processes. Um, there's no way in the world we could have gotten to ISO 13485 without these uh, quality assurance and processes in place. Something that we really take pride in and that uh, Neil and I probably couldn't do, but luckily we have the detailed staff that have allowed us to grow to this, uh, to this size and this rating. How are we looking, Hannah? Good? So from here, once everything's tested, we get it prepared, we get it boxed back up, we put the Renew quality assurance on it, and out it goes straight to our customer. Thanks for your time today. It was an absolute pleasure hanging out with the folks over at Renew Biomedical and MME for an afternoon. They did do a cookout and I learned a lot of things from them about processes and about repairing medical equipment and the business of repairing medical equipment that I'm gonna take with me for the rest of my career. It was a fantastic team, a beautiful facility, and I'm very happy that I was able to spend some time with all the crew over at MME and Renew Biomedical. Thanks a lot guys for allowing me in your facility and thank you all for watching.